Good morning all you lovely people out there watching this, um, I'm Billy Smith, this is just another episode, uh, vlog, whatever you want to call it. Today I'll be talking about um, the wheels I use for racing, when I decide to use a deep profile wheel or low profile wheel, usually we all know deep profile wheel for more flatter races, low profile wheel for uh, much more hillier races. Um, but the difference between the two is uh, very little um, and today I'm here to show you why. Um, however, my morning didn't start that great. Um, I've got an hour more of training, got an email from the coach to do a little bit more training so can't really complain. What doesn't make you, doesn't kills you, makes you stronger. I procrastinated quite a lot. As you can see it's already like 9 o'clock. Um, so I should probably get on my bike. I feel a bit tired after Jobic to see into Durban. It's been a hard 10 days. So I'll just heat another coffee and uh, hopefully that will boost the morale. Um, like I said, another tip out there for you, for you guys. Sometimes you feel down, you feel tired. Smash another coffee and get out there as soon as possible before you feel tired and, and all that stuff again. <laughs> Damn it, so my power meter is not picking up. Um, I'll quickly have to go pass one of the bike shops and pick up the battery. Hey, one day when you're a pro, you can get service like this, huh? <laughs> Thanks, Anton. Pleasure. about a, a 10 millimeter wheel, 20 millimeter, 30, 40 and 60. Those are the most popular ones to use as professional cyclists. Um, however, we do change it quite a lot. Um, mountain stages, flat stage. Um, usually if you're not a sponsored cyclist and you have to buy the wheels on your own, you usually look to just buy a wheel which is relatively in between somewhere like a 30 mil wheel or 40 mil wheel which is still very aerodynamic quick on the flat roads but still which you can use to race in hilly races with um, so usually you think um, with wheel selection um, it's easy um, when it's hilly you take a low profile wheel and when it's quite flat you just take a deep section wheel. Well it all depends about the route profile even though it's hilly. Um, like check out this hill here just behind me. Um, even though it's hilly and it's a lot of climbing in the start and the last 50k's is quite flat. Usually as a pro rider you'd go with a, a, a deep section wheel because you're going to benefit so much more with the deep section wheel in the end and actually get a result whereas starting with a uh, low profile wheel and then struggling in the sprint. Okay, so time for a well and coffee. Um, I'm always drink coffee after my ride. And then back to talking about deep section wheels and low profile wheels. <laughs> oh, finally home after what felt like a very long three hours, but <laughs> Shame. This one has been alone all day, but uh, I'll start giving her some attention soon. Mm -hmm. 
So, what an eventful day it was. Um, let's talk about the rest of the series about the deep wheel profiles and low profile wheels. If you've watched this far, you're probably wondering, so as a professional rider, what wheels would I be riding? Um, well, it really depends. Um, in South Africa, um, the terrain is always undulating. Um, and I prefer a wheel that goes up your very well and um, will assist me in, in tough sprint finishes. Therefore, my wheel of choice is a token. Um, it's a C38. It works really well for me. Um, and now I can go up your very quick with it and do well in the sprints. And uh, it benefits me on the flat toes and in gutters. Um, the other wheel I use for really, really, really race is a token C28. Um, it's a tubby. It's super light. I love using them in tough up your finishes. Um, but this is very rare. We don't have a lot of races we do, um, which I really have to take out these, these babies. Um, but yeah, like I said, also remember that um, if it's really hilly in the start of the race and um, flat the last 50 kilometers, I'd rather. Um, go with the deep section wheel um, as I just push hard survive the first uh, Climb and then the deep section wheel will benefit me in the sprint in the end um, However, if it's very flat in the start of the race and very hilly at the end, it's better to go with the low profile wheel Unless you are Berto Contador, you've got a nice backup bike um, You can ride your aero bike with deep section wheels and do a bike swap shortly before the climb However, we are not all Alberta Contador and we can't always make uh, uh, that call. Another tip I give a lot of my friends is uh, usually you can just use a heel um, if you want to see how quick your wheels are. So you start at a, a, a section on the road, you mark that, you freewheel down the hill and you see how far you freewheel. You can just put on different sets of wheels. Um, just make sure the speed that you start at is the same every time. You basically freewheel and you see um, with what set of wheels you freewheel the furthest. Um, if you liked the video, please remember to like and subscribe to the link up here.